All right, this is a review of translating absolute value and a little review of interval notation as well. So when we're translating from words into an absolute value and equality, there's basically two cases. Here's the first one. A jar is filled with about 26 ounces of fluid, give or take two ounces. Write an absolute value and equality to represent how much liquid is in the jar. So they give you an amount that basically it should be which is this 26 ounces of fluid. So it's the distance away from that. So it's the distance X is away from 26. It's within, give or take. They might talk about tolerance. It's, a, it's about is less than or equal to. Here's the tolerance. It's within, within two ounces. So that translates into the absolute value of X minus 26 is less than or equal to two. Now on the second type of problem, they give you a maximum and a minimum. They basically are giving you the answers. So in this one it says, during a, bat, a baseball game, the slowest pitch a pitcher threw was 45 miles per hour. The fastest the pitcher threw was 79 miles per hour. Write an absolute value inequality to represent the range of speeds that pitches were thrown. So on this one they give you the slowest and the fastest, the smallest and the biggest. So make yourself a little number line. Put the smallest and the biggest. So what you want to find now is the middle. Just take the average of 45 and 79, which is da, 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 62. So it's the distance away from 62. That's in the middle. So what is the distance away from 62? Well, just count how far it is. You can just do 62 minus 45, which is 17. So it is less than or equal to 17. So those are the two type of translating problems from words. All right, when you're given the absolute value and you want to translate it, remember, we're talking about distance. Distance, what's the different distance from 7 to 4? It's 3, because 7 minus 4 is 3. So when we're trying to find distance, it's about subtraction. So on this one, when you have the absolute value of x plus 14 equals 2, what this really is, is that the distance x is from, now you might think from 14, but it's the distance x is from negative 14 and because in reality this plus here is actually minus negative 14. So the distance x is from negative 14 equals is 2. Now over here on b there's already a minus sign so all you have to say is that the distance that 6x is from 11 is 5. All right couple more on interval notation. Just a reminder, we've done a lot over these videos, but it goes has to go from smallest to biggest. When we have solid circles, use a bracket. When we have open circle, use a parenthesis. So on this one, the smallest x could be, translating this graph, would be negative infinity. Up until and including negative 2. Then it hops. Anytime there's a hop, I'll use a union sign. Then including 0, up to 6 not including 6, then another hop, so another union sign, and then from 7 until infinity. On B, if we look, the smallest that it could be is negative 3, not including negative 3, up to 1, including 1, so bracket, and it hops, so union. Now, there's just 3, it's just a point at 3, so to represent that, I just put